Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sade if you're new here. Please do consider subscribing. Today's video we are going to be heading into TK Maxx and HomeSense. The one near me is kind of like a hybrid so it's got so much homeware and some really good clothing as well. They've got some designer bits and bobs so we'll have a look. Mainly at the homeware stuff because I haven't been in there in so long and I feel like I keep saying that in my videos but I just haven't really been shopping or anything like that so let's go have a look, see what they've got, see what's new in in spring, coming up for summer new trends and just like some good bargains let's head in okay guys voiceover Sade in action so the first thing that I really love when I walk into HomeSense or TK Maxx they always have their seasonal goods on display so whether it's Christmas or Easter or summer as it is now they'll have their like seasonal bits on and you can see what kind of bargains you can get and you can get your decorating on so as you can see here we are hit with some garden stuff which is fantastic all of us are going to want to decorate our gardens or balconies or even introduce some of these things into the home to kind of like bring the outdoors in what I love about these shops like TK Maxx is they will tell you what you need. You might go in with a list, I might need A, B and C, but I will leave with a D, E, F, G, H, I. I'll tell you that now for free. <laughs> but they always are such a good price. Bargains galore. That's what I love about this shop. By the way, if you didn't know, HomeSense and TK Maxx in the UK are kind of like sister companies. So it's all the same shop, hence why this one's like a hybrid. And if you live in the USA, you might know TK Maxx as TJ Maxx. If I'm not mistaken, they are very similar stores or the same company, just different countries. Now one thing that will always stop me in my tracks, I still find it very trendy, is rattan or cane anything. I thought this was beautiful. If I had room for it indoors, I would definitely take it, but I don't think it will sustain weather outdoors. They also had a really good clearance section on pots, and if you didn't like these colours, you could definitely spray them. Just give them a primer coat and then a top coat just to make sure that they last. Another thing that always catches my eye is glassware and oddly enough asymmetrical glassware. I love this, I thought it was very organic in its shape. I didn't love the colour but I always picture myself painting an item if it doesn't fit my home how it looks, I can amend that so always keep that in mind when you're shopping. I toyed with buying this marble, I don't know what it is, is it a doorstop, is it a paperweight? It was bloody heavy, I'll tell you that now, but it was so pretty. It was $12.99, I didn't know if it was worth it, but I'm still thinking about it now, so I might go back and see if I can find something similar. Similarly with these hurricanes or candle holders, they were really pretty, but they were $29.99, which is really a lot for home scents, I thought. And these marble bookends were $19.99 each, they were so pretty, but I thought we can DIY these, so this might be on the DIY list. Watch out for that video. I know, I know, I'm so basic, you can predict anything that I'm gonna like because it's neutral, but this bowl was stunning. It was 40 pounds, I couldn't justify taking it home because really and truly I do not have anywhere in the home for it, but it was so pretty. Look at that grain and look at the edge of the bowl. So for me, that's an inspiration piece. I know that I like stuff like that. And if I have a room makeover coming up in the future, I would use items like this and kind of base the design around it. So I will take colors from the grain, from the bowl itself and those shapes, and then I will design the room around that. Stick the bowl on a mood board, bish bash bosh, we've got a room makeover coming up. T 
TK Maxx and HomeSense are some really good places to get rugs. They have so much variety, any style that you think suits your home, I can almost guarantee that they've got it and they always have really good size options available as well. I don't have a lot of rugs in my home because we have carpet throughout and rugs on top of carpet. I know it's very like ugh to some people but I do it because I love the look of a rug and the feel of a rug but if you have hard floors rugs will be your best friends they really help to kind of encapsulate a space section it off or make it feel homely snug and soft definitely consider rugs to section an area or to add a pop of color or texture to a room cushions we love cushions everybody get your hands in the air for cushions if you are an, an addict like me it's okay this is a safe space i can never have enough and I can never get rid of the ones that I have. The underneath of my bed, you don't even want to go in there. But cushions are another way, again, to add texture and softness and colour to an area. Okay, onto the clearance section. TK Maxx, when I went in the other day, their clearance section was huge. You're gonna see it distributed throughout the video, but honestly, there was nothing wrong with this table. Okay, there is. The top's a little bit scuffed, but nothing that a little bit of DIY can't fix. And this outdoor bar, we've got one of these actually. We, well, we've got two. We use them all the time, we love them. This had a tiny little scratch on it. You'll see it on the left in a minute. Look at that, tiny little dent. And I think it was reduced by like a couple of hundred pounds. It's just silly at this point, but great for us, great bargains. Make sure you always go and check the clearance section because honestly, some really good deals to be had there. I genuinely found some of my dream furniture in here. This chair, I'm obsessed with the legs on this chair with the caster wheels. The material itself, I feel like boucle is so stunning, but not very practical if you're actually gonna sit in the chair. But look at this chair here. This is my dream come true. I really hope when we move into our house in the future, I can find something as similar as this for such a great price. I'm obsessed, I'm in love. I love the look of this like traditional yet modern. Oh, it just, it's just me all over. They had two of them, they had a matching pink sofa. Imagine this little setup at the end of a bed, so gorgeous. And then on top of that, I found a really gorgeous orchid. Oh, you might recognize this. I have made one from scratch before. I will leave that video linked in the top right or in the description, you can go and find that. DIY orchid on my channel. I made mine for under 50 pounds. This one was 70. I mean, there's only 20 pound more and you don't have to put the work in for it, but I feel like mine was a bit nicer. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, if you're looking for big furniture, TK Maxx and HomeSense are still your guys. Look at this corner sofa. It is so pretty, it's so modern. Mimics quite a few really expensive ones that I've seen on the market, I can't lie. And I gave it a little squidge and it felt comfy. 
Also, they've started doing this uh, delivery service. So I think you can pay from upwards of 30 pounds to get it delivered if you don't have a van or a big car to take the furniture home yourself, which is really handy. I can't believe I almost didn't spot this, but this eucalyptus tree standing at about seven foot was hidden behind the sofa. I didn't even know that they did plants and trees as big as this. I mean, it's faux, it's artificial, but it's really good looking, <laughs> good looking. Is that how you describe inanimate objects? Who knows? But anyway, they had loads more garden stuff. I love these little sage benches, um, like garden benches. I thought they were really super cute. And they also have like the traditional outdoorsy sort of stuff. And then they've got some more modern pieces. They've got them in the set so you can buy them their own. So much variety, go and check it out. Now this one's a little bit random, but TK Maxx does some really blooming good food. I'm not gonna lie. They have some really nice condiments and sauces and pastas and everything. I feel like you get the really tasty from across the world sort of stuff from here. Let me not lie. I think they're a little bit more expensive than what you pay say Asda or Tesco, but I feel like you're paying for the authenticity, the flavors. I always feel like it really inspires me like seeing the food section around all of the gorgeous pots and crockery and stuff like that. I feel like cooking can be and should be really fun and it's even better if you've got really gorgeous kitchenware. I find that anyway. So you will find me every so often treating myself to more pestle and mortars, chopping boards and pots and pans because yes, thank you, it does inspire me. <laughs> now I can't lie, I nearly got caught up in this section. I don't know where this new addiction has come for me. New pots and pans, I seem to just be wanting to buy them all the time, but cast iron, just looks beautiful to me and it really cooks so well. I'm gonna hold out though, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna hold out because we're due to move house within the next, fingers crossed, a year or so. So I'm really gonna treat myself, I'm gonna go to town when the time comes, when I've got more kitchen space, you know? I'll treat myself then. And I will shut up in a minute, I know I'm just rambling now, but if you didn't know, TK Maxx and HomeSense do do a really good appliances section. So if you're due for a new kettle or toaster, check them out because they've got some really good brands at some really good prices. But my loves, that is it for today's video. I only made it halfway through the store because honestly, it was so big. So if you want a part two, make sure to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Maybe even hit the notification bell so you know when I post and I will be happy to go back and film some more shopping for you. Until then, I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye. Mwah.